uh, let's listen to the German-speaking French finance minister. It's all about uh, the fact that, again, it's that Franco-German couple that drove this deal. C'est un bon accord. Donc c'est l'acte de naissance de cette Europe nouvelle qui sera plus solidaire, plus verte et puis plus franco-allemande. Parce que quand on regarde ce qui s'est passé depuis des semaines, cet accord doit tout ou presque à la volonté de la France et de l'Allemagne. Klaus Peter Welsch, uh, this Franco-German Europe you approve? Uh, um, not if uh, we are obliged to sing the French songs. So um, it must be a fair partnership, of course. And um, I very much agree on uh, that, what, what, what Peter said. Um, uh, look, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to the, we're going to the polls in Germany and um, I, of course, look uh, for German voters. That is my, this is my responsibility and my, and my role. And they ask me, why do we work the men until 67, the women until 65? when others uh, quit their jobs um, with pensions um, at the age of 60 or 62. Uh, they ask me uh, how it is possible that uh, Spain just uh, erased a, a new um, non-conditioned um, basis income uh, on a, a remarkable level um, for everybody, helicopter geld, uh, helicopter money. And um, they, this, these are the questions I'm asked, and I'm afraid that um, the going into debt uh, on the European level will um, separate uh, the peoples in uh, Europe, and it will not um, lead to a good end because um, you cannot buy friendship; um, you have to work on it. And um, uh, when uh, you make the one. Uh, side only the payers uh, and the other the receivers uh, which have not uh, the necessity to to optimize their systems and uh, to make them um, more um, uh, to, to bring them in better shape uh, you will not win um, the people for the idea of europe uh, you will um, engage you will encourage by this um, uh, forces so, political forces on the left and on the right that are against so the unification Sandro Godzi, we're out of time. One sentence. How do you reassure there, Hans Peter Wilsch? I don't have to reassure them. They should reassure me, but I'm reassured by Angela Merkel and Emmanuel Macron. They finally understood what is good for Europe. Uh, investment, solidarity, mutual understanding, and stop with, with the useless national prejudices, as I heard uh, again today. Uh, and I think that uh, I'm very positive about the recovery plan. I'm very grateful to the chorus and vision of uh, Macron, Merkel, and also to their capacity of building up a group of countries who share a new, a renewed vision for Europe, because uh, France and Germany on their own are not enough, but a group of countries with a strong political will can really change Europe, and we are on the right track.